Okay, so hang on for these just to get the book out. Let's put this book on. Well, I'll just give you a little bit of a recap on the mirrors. Yeah. It was lacking in detail, wasn't it? Yeah. Well, you agree? Mm, yeah, it could have had a bit more detail. Yeah, you were telling me what mirrors you were checking. Yeah. There was very little detail on the why mm. and the consequence of not checking. Yeah. Hence, that's why you had a job keeping... You listen to me or... You yeah, I'm listening to you. Informed. Hence, hence, that's why you had a bit of a job keeping mm. me interested in your mirrors, yeah? yeah. Um, I didn't have a clue why you were checking the side mirrors because you never told me once, yeah? Mm. I think you told me a couple of times what you were checking the interior mirror for and then left it at that, yeah? Mm. Yeah. Um, yeah, give me some detail. The devil's in the detail, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, we're going to go from there. Okay, then. Oh, the other thing is, when I stopped, you should have said to me, that as soon as you knew we were coming to a stop, keep your hands in your lap, don't yeah. touch your seatbelt, don't touch your door, yeah? Yeah. Okay. That's fair enough. Okay, so, um, okay, so we've come to a suitable spot now for this <coughs> moving up and stopping exercise, so, um, before I go through the, the brief on this, if you just want to get yourself set up, All right, yeah. so you, you're comfortable... Oh, you see, okay, yeah, that's it. Okay, just tell me you can see in the um, the middle mirror, Tony. Uh, top and bottom of the back window, edge of my headrest, edge of your headrest. Okay, and the door mirrors? 10% uh, car under us down the road, and 10% car under us down the road. That's good, okay, then, so you're all, you're all set up then. Yeah. Okay, so um, you know about your cockpit drill, how to do that? I've just done it. You've just done that, yeah, that's good. Okay, um, so, um, yeah, for the move off of something exercise, what we're going to do along this road, because it's a nice quiet right. road. Yeah. Um, before we, you know, move the car and stop, we, we've got to obviously make sure it's dual copy, which we've done, and then we've got to prepare the, we've got to do something called a POM routine. All right, yeah. yeah. Which is um, prepare, observe, move. Right. So the first thing you're going to do, Tony, is... Um, get the car prepared. Yeah. So once you've started the engine, um, it will be um, clutch down. What f foot would you use for your, on your clutch? Oh, the left, isn't it? Yeah. And that's d down to the floor. Yeah. And then we're going to put the car into gear one. First gear, yeah? Yeah, get yeah. first gear. Okay. Um, very important we do get first gear because it's the most powerful gear. Yeah. Okay. Um, if we put it into third gear, say, then it's likely that we'll stall. Oh, right, yeah. And we'll be out in the road. Yeah. And that could cause problems, you know, an obstruction to yeah. other road don't, users. Don't stall me for it's listen, do I? No, it's not very good. Um, yeah, so really, but you do get that, that first gear. And it's basically up across towards me. Oh, yeah, sure. yeah I saw that last week. Yeah. Okay. Once you've got your first gear... We're then going to apply a little bit of gas with our right foot. All right, yeah. Um, about a pound's thickness. You want the revs just over the thousand on this car. Oh, yeah, about 1100, I think you said to me. Yeah. And then once you've got your gas set, keep that foot still. Yeah. And then your clutch foot. Yeah. Very slowly bring the clutch up about a centimetre at a time. Yeah. And as you come up very slowly, your... Um, get the biting point. Did you tell you about the biting point? I did, yeah. He showed me this up on his phone. It was very good. Yeah, okay. Basically, when the two plates um, touch, yeah. they come together. Okay, and what you'll notice with the, with the engine tone, the tone will drop with the engine. You'll see the actual rev needle drop. Right. And the bonnet will raise very slightly. All right, yeah. Okay? Yeah. Once you've got that bite, hold... Your feet still. Yeah. Very important you keep those feet still. Right. Okay, keep them dead still. Um, if it's pulling too much, you might just need to very slightly dip your clutch foot ever so slightly. Right. Yeah. Okay. That's your car then prepared. Yeah. Okay. Once you've done that, keep that hand on the steering wheel, that one on the parking brake. Yeah. You're then going to do your observations. All right. Because it's very important you observe around before you move the car. All right, yeah. Because if you haven't observed, what's going to be the consequence? You move this car and you've not done... I've never moved before, Harry, so I don't know, really. Okay, well, if you don't do effective observations, then 
you know, if you haven't seen something, you could, you know, run someone over. All right, or, don't do that before it's listening. Yeah, or collide with the vehicle. Yeah. So, the first thing you're going to do is you're going to check this mirror here. Right. This is the main mirror, and um, it's got flat glass. Yeah, I remember that, yeah. Okay. Um, so, go to True Picture. And what we're checking it for is anything coming up behind and, and checking if there's a safe gap to to move out, basically. Oh, right, yeah, yeah. Um, before we do our other checks. Yeah. There's no point checking all around if there's a lot of cars coming behind. We'll let them go. Yeah, once we've checked, makes sense. Yeah. yeah. Once we've checked this main mirror, Tony. Yeah. We're then going to check the um, left door mirror. Okay. We would. Okay. If there were um, pedestrians behind on the on the left pavement. Yeah. Or children, we would do a left blind spot check. Right. Or say there was someone in that car on the driveway. Yeah. We would check, do a left blind spot check then. All oh, right, yeah. But as it is, there's little point today because right. nothing about checking the left blind spot. Okay. So it's the left mirror. Yeah. You'll then check up ahead. I want to check the left mirror. Frank. Um, anything coming up behind? Just to see if thing, anything's there really. That's pavement, isn't it? Yeah, just just have a check. Well, there's got to be a reason for checking, isn't it? I thought I'd be turning my head for no reason, do I? Yeah, just to see if things coming out of any of the driveways. Nothing to do with pedestrians, or yeah, pedestrian, yeah, checking for pedestrians. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, checking for pedestrians. That might be walking up the pavement. So why am I checking them? I'm not going to drive on the pavement, am I? No, but they might run out, mightn't they? Up behind me. Yeah, they could do. You know, if you, you 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 move out and you check that left mirror, and the pedestrian starts moving out. Oh, you out. mean they might they might walk across front of me? Yeah. All right. Yeah. So you're checking for that. Okay. Um, Let's play. Give us a clue, shall we? Yeah. <laughs> Go on, carry on. <laughs> and then um, check up ahead. All right. Yeah. Check the right door mirror. Yeah. Um, for any cars that might be going past, any bikes. Motorbikes, right? Pedestrians, anything that might affect you moving off. Yeah. And then you're going to check your left, your, sorry, your right blind spot rather. And the right blind spot is between the headrest and the door pillar. Have a just look behind for me and tell me what you can see between there, right? Oh, yeah. 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 Tell me what you can exactly what you can see between the headrest and the back I window. I can see that second big tree. Okay. Now, can you see that second big tree in your mirror? No. Okay. Now, that is your blind spot, right. and it's the area not covered in your mirrors. Yeah. So, had you not checked your blind spot before moving off, um, and that tree was a child or someone running down there and you decide to go and oh, move right. off, yeah, I never thought of that. you're going to hit it, Yeah. and that's not going to be too clever. No. Okay, once you've done your observations, as you do the blind spot check and your head comes round, Yeah. Okay, you're going to release the handbrake, Yeah. keep the feet still, Right. So the car doesn't move. Actually, on your obs. You can then get decide whether or not a signal is necessary. Right. Okay. Now you will signal to any vehicles coming towards us. All oh, right. Any pedestrians walking towards. Oh yeah. Or if there's any if there's any pedestrians walking behind before we move off. Right. Okay. But if there's pedestrians walking down the road, miles down the road, and you know, like. Okay, so if we were going to move these pedestrians here, we would have signalled for them. All right, yeah. But, um, if they're like quite a way down there and you can still see them, they haven't got eyes in the back of their head, so nope, not anyway. you wouldn't signal. No. Okay. You also would not signal for any vehicles coming behind, you'd let them go. Okay, right. Um, because, okay... Let's let's just pretend, you know, you're you're driving on this road. You're say you're here. Let's pretend you're this car. There's a car come. This car's coming behind. New signal. Then your signal could cause the vehicles on the main road to slow down. Okay. Oh yeah. Which, you probably think they're letting me out here. Yeah? yeah. Which right. we we must not do. Right. Okay. So you let them go. Yeah, I think I've got that, Harry. Um. Before you, you move out. Okay. 
and then the um, steering will be what I'll do is I'll, I'll ask you to steer um, if you look at the steering as a clock like 12 oh yeah 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 nine yeah. Uh, nine feet yeah. and then I'll say steer a little bit steer to you yeah. steer to me can I practice that yeah, have a, have a practice. So steer to. Steer. I suppose I can pretend I'm yeah. turning the so wheel. So steer to you. A little bit. Steer to me. Yeah, just just gently. About sort of about sort of ten minutes. No, yeah, ten be, minutes. Yeah, be sort of. Yeah, be sort of, well. Actually, five minutes to you. Yeah, five minutes to you. You want to think about this and let me know. Yeah, I thought about it. Yeah, five no, minutes five to you, minutes, then no. ten minutes to me. All oh, right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, and then the normal driving position will be. About a meter from the curb. Okay. Which is roughly speaking, Might you better have me with that one. the width of a car. Okay. And I'll, I'll, um, I'll help you with that. Now, have you started the engine before? I did, yeah. You did last lesson. Okay. So, if you want to pop your seatbelt on for me. Oh yeah, the other thing is, um, I'll just brief you on um, stopping us, and I. Um, oh yeah, we're going to stop, haven't we? Yeah, yeah. so I just thought about that. Um, hadn't forgotten it, but I just thought about it. Yeah, so we'll just drive down the road, and we're going to find a place just to pull in. It'll probably be near a tree or a lamppost, whatever. Um, and I'll get you to pull in. St I'll talk you through it, stopping on the, the left. Safe, convenient, legal place. Um, and when you come to...